Hello and welcome back to Modded Minecraft. I forget the name of the pack because... What is the pack called? Rustic Waters. There we go. Rustic Waters. We are working our way through the first page of quests at the moment. Um, in between episodes I will take a closer look at the rest of these quest lines but probably I will wait until we've completed this 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 first one because I think until we get to expand, that's that was that was probably one of those rocket squids we spotted. Um, until we expand our base by getting the keys to these things, we're you know we're limited space and stuff. So at the end of the last episode, we were quickly trying to make ourselves some string um, out of vines, so we could make the needle we need for the tailor's workshop. And we discovered that the in order to make them the tailor's workshop uh, needed where are we making string just trying to work out how to use this interface it it needed purified water I remember that so purified water. Uh, we just need a bucket of normal water, and we put it through our smelter. So, bucket. We're going to need some fuel. Where did I put the smelter? Here we go. Well, in general, you're better off with charcoal than other stuff, usually. Burn time, 300 ticks. Burn time, 100 ticks, and charcoal is usually a lot better. So processing it uh, through like that is usually worth it. Uh, will we get one more? We do. And if you turn it into mini charcoal, you get it's essentially the same amount of burn time, but but you never waste any. Okay. So bucket of water. Uh, the shape of this is two by two, so it should be a. Uh, Regenerating infinite water spring. And this will give us our purified water which we can load into the into the artisans table. Hopefully there's a way of automating all this sort of stuff later. There we go. Bucket of purified water. Um do I just right click? I do. I was trying to make vines, wasn't I? Right, Trader's Workshop. Oak leaves. Purified water, 100 millibuckets. That's one tenth of a bucket. We've got a thousand in there. We've got a bucket's worth. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought it wasn't working, but it was right there. Right, so that, get, so that get, uh, gets me four vines. And how would I turn those into string, which you've assured me I can do? Okay, you can turn wool into string. But, okay, so I need a needle in order to make any more string. So it is a good job we started this guy going. So we can make ourselves the needle we need. Hopefully. I thought I was going to have to make the string in order to make the needle, but I suppose... I don't, I don't have any sticks. Um, let's make a load of sticks. Let's take half of that, turn it into planks. There we go. Right. So there's a wooden needle. And now we can make bulk string if we want. We get free string like that. Okay. I'll try and keep it only for tools down there. The rest of the stuff can go up there. Right. How are we doing on apples? Our only food source right now. Mm. To the book. Right, 
Um, that's the end of this chain, so we are on knife travels. Okay, the trader's work table is the first of the profession work tables you will utilize. It will aid you in crafting things such as strainers and sluice equipment. Tip each workstation requires specific tools and or a fluid catalyst. Some recipes may require higher quality tools um, with more durability. You can fill the table with fluids easily by clicking them with a, bu a bucket. Oh, okay, this, this would have given me the needle. Okay, and it would have given me a Constantine needle. Okay, so, um... Annoyingly, even though I have made these, I don't. I detect submit, even though I don't. I don't. I don't have them on me at the moment, so that's not going to work. Uh, let's cook another bucket in there. And if I just grab this, will that count? I found a keyboard shortcut that goes to the book. It may even work without the book in my inventory. Yes, it does. That's good. Uh, yep, so the slightly damaged knife does register. So we should be able to... There we go. Right, that gets us a better needle. So we don't need that one anymore. But it seems you can have more than one needle in there at a time. Excellent. Uh, vine management. I uh, make 64 vines. And that will give me Bully's Brew, which is a haste three water breathing night vision. And give me five gill, which, as we said, is the thing you can use to buy and sell stuff. I think I complete this and I use it, maybe not immediately, but to go down and get that coral stuff, which it said would speed up my bonsai trees and improve the drop rate on them. So 64 vines. I do just need a load of leaves in a square in the trader's workshop. You need your wooden knife back. That's 33. It is using up the water, though. So, cook some more water. Any leaves in here? We've got 15 in that one, 4 in that one, but I think we probably want to make some manual trees. With the shears in our inventory. So all the leaves drop. There we go. That's enough. Right. Boolies brew and the gill. Which has just, just completed another quest straight away for us. an exclamation mark here. Ah, okay. Um, despite not showing in JEI, Bully's brews can be crafted. They require turbo tubes from rocket squids and compressed leaves. Uh, view the uses of either of those ingredients or select the potion icon at the right to view the recipe. Okay, so... We can make more of these in, in the future. That's interesting. And you're just going to give me another five gill. Hmm, these are just some one-offs on this next one. It was good that it showed a little exclamation mark there to show me that that's where I should go. Right. Is it worth taking that potion and swimming down to try and get the coral. I think not at the moment, because we haven't hurt for resources yet. I can just keep sucking the stuff out of there. 
So we're going to save it until we maybe have a little better equipment, maybe a weapon, because there are some dangerous sea creatures out there. And maybe with the five minutes of water breathing we get, we can explore slightly further. Right, what is next? We've got we've got a choice coming up next, but mesh fabric is used in both water strainers and the sluice machine. Water strainers gather resources from the ocean water they are submerged in. The sluice will allow you to sieve ores and other resources from sand, gravel, and other materials you gather. And this gives me a bronze needle. That's strange, because you gave me a different one before. Right, so we need string in the tailor's workshop, but we also need woven cotton, which is more string. Okay, so suddenly we need all the string in the world. It's a shame we haven't got on another one of those spider saplings. Did it say we could craft them? Yes. Just needs three bits of string and then any sapling by the look of it. Which means, whale, yes, I know you're, you're a very nice whale, but you were very, very intrusive. We could be growing two of them, but this isn't going to give me any food. Is there any way to tell what else I can eat? <laughs> okay. What to do next? Okay, we need 26 string for each of those. And we currently have 10. I think we are going to try and make it to the ocean floor and get some of that coral. I'm not entirely certain what tool is needed, but let's at least have some chance. Don't want to use stone for anything yet. Right, so we are fooded up. Coral reef from the ocean floor in your bonsai pots will increase their speed and drop rate by 25%. You can rehydrate coral reef by dropping dry reef into a pool of water. Right, so I am just after coral reef. If I die, all I'm losing is... Oh. Do I risk the wetsuit? We are going to be as cautious as possible at the moment. Right, so we've got a minute to hopefully make it down and find some coral. Coral reef from the ocean floor. Right, what does it look like? I'm going to look in that thing in the top left. No, because it just says water. Uh, are you coral reef? Orange coral. Not coral reef. Coral reef, okay. Give me more. There we go. Come on. We are about to run out of water, um, air. Got plenty of water. Right, where's the way in? 
Whew. Okay. Let us grab stuff again. Let's put our wetsuit back on. <laughs> so, can I... Soil cannot be removed while the sapling is growing. Worried I couldn't see the pots then for a moment. So apparently... Oh. Well, that isn't what I expected to happen. Coral reef. Coral reef. What am I missing? Yeah, that's dry reef, but I don't have dry reef. I've just got coral reef. Because with dirt, I just right, I just right hand click. Maybe I was just missing. <laughs> Maybe I was just missing. Okay. So, according to the book, this increases their speed and drop rates by 25%. So you can see the chance of string. Okay, so it doesn't actually... Ah, dirt. Actually, according to this, with coral reef, the grow time. Okay, when it says grow time, 75%, does that mean that it takes 75% less time or that it's 75% of the normal growth speed? That's a little confusing, but it does have a higher drop chance. And now I've just done all that, and it is doing well. That just, that just gave me an apple, but I think that was because that's where the normal tree used to be. Um, it did just occur to me that the reason why it asked me to make a big pile of vines was because I was supposed to turn it into a big pile of string. So, yeah. Um, I am not the smartest cookie. <laughs> You're going to have to put up with that on occasion. So I need like three equal piles, which I never really know how to do. So, I mean, it's still good, you know, it's still good that, you know, that we got it, but it probably wasn't as necessary as I thought. Right, so what is it the book wanted, wanted us to make? two lots of fabric meshes. So we need eight woven cotton, which is just four in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The needle's almost gone. Well, that needle's almost gone. We do have a second one. And then it's just that. Luckily, we don't have to feed in any liquids or anything on this one. One, two fabric meshes. <whistles> giving us another needle. I can now see why they're giving us another needle, because you do burn through those pretty quickly. Uh... All right, so... It's used in both water strainers and the sluice machine. Yeah, I think this is how I start to get metals and other stuff. So we now have a choice. We've got super strain pow power. This quest is optional and can be completed at any point. Survivalist strainer dense is a higher quality version of the normal survivalist strainer. It does not provide some of the useful drop 
mob drops that normal strainer does, but it has a chance to catch fish and treasure items that are very useful. You may want to have at least one operating alongside your normal strainers. And it gets me something called an acceleration wand. Mode fast. Right click on a block to speed up the ticks. That basically will increase the speed of any machine, which um, stops you having to stand there and wait and grind. So I think I am going to go for this. What do I need in order to make this? I need two more fabric meshes and uh, some string stuff. Okay. So what that tells me is I need another pile of leaves. Let's keep sucking everything out of there. But let us harvest a tree's worth of leaves. Come on, grow. Thank you. Should be enough. Vines. We ran out of water. It's a good job I was prepared. I'm just going to always have one of these sat there. <laughs> so turn that into another into a load more string. Can can I farm vines? Like in the normal way. If I do that, will they grow? Worth it. it's, it's worth an experiment, isn't it? Right, I've still got 12 oak saplings. I was wondering if I'd forgotten to take the apples out. We definitely need a better food source. <laughs> fabric mesh. <laughs> Dense mesh. Survivalist strainer dense, that was it. Okay. Um yep. So we can make one of them, and I'm going to see how close I am to being able to make more of the normal ones, because that's what's going to be making me stuff. One, two, three, four. So having some extras of these laying around wouldn't hurt. There we go. I think when you're doing this sort of mod pack, you don't want to go too far because usually the next thing on the quest chain is going to make your life easier. But maybe sort of making twice, twice as much as something wants you to can stand you in pretty good stead. And that time wand, I think, is going to come in very handy. Uh, so we've got our bronze needle. We did that one which dead ends. Right, in-world crafting. There are certain recipes you can create in-world. This means tossing items into fluids, fire, or other options. Try your hand at crafting creosote by tossing a charcoal chunk into a pool of purified water. Later you will make creosote in a much easier way, but for now you must work with the tools available. Okay, prismarine arrows maintain their normal flight speed underwater. Great for hunting sharks. Okay, so I'm actually going to get a nice weapon from this one. Now, this thing was talking about fabric meshes used in both water strainers and the sluice machine. So looking at the other quests, 
that's that's talking about the sluice. And that's talking about sifting. I'm just wondering, am I supposed to have made these water strainers already? Generates items while in water. Okay, that needs a wooden gear. And a wooden gear needs... Is this any type of plank? Yes. Okay, so I could make one of these. Oh, but I need treated wood planks. Which is made with with creosote. One, uh, once again, it proves the axiom: trust the book. <laughs> right. So we needed a charcoal chunk. Now, I suppose no, I can't click there. But I was wondering if it was an easy click to show me how to make a charcoal chunk. I mean, I can imagine that it's going to, you know, involve some charcoal, you think, maybe? Charcoal chunk. I need five charcoal for that. Okay. I've got tons of logs on me. There we go. Five. That will get me the five charcoal I need. I'm going to need a pool of purified water. You can farm vines in the normal way. Probably isn't worth the time it takes. I need a corner. To be my pool of purified water. According to that, the tool, the correct tool for vines is an axe, but then they don't drop. Charcoal chunk. Let's make some creosote. So that's purified water. Now it's creosote. Quest complete. Right, so that gets me a weapon. Which is always good. I might kill that whale. <laughs> Just because he's so noisy. Um, I Instead, I am just going to turn down. Friendly creatures volume. See if he's less, less annoying at 60%. Right, um, I think we're almost at the... That was absolutely no different. Maybe he doesn't count as a friendly mob. Music and sounds. Let's leave that back at 70, but we'll drop hostile creatures down. I really didn't want to have to drop hostile creatures, because it's like most of the time you want to hear them coming. absolutely no difference in volume whatsoever. Right. Where were we? Um, Creaso oil buckets. Right. Sifting sands leads to there and that chain. And this one leads to there. Okay. Let's start with this. Craft a survivalist strainer and strainer base. The strainer must be submerged completely underwater in order to work. You will find an opening land find an open landing zone directly under your base where you can drop into the water and place your strainer. Later you will also use this area to park your Seamoth submarine. Yep, I get submarines later on in this. Tip your strainer mesh will need to be replaced periodically. Okay. So the uh no, that's not what How do I Okay, I've already made the survivalist strainers, right? So it is just the base. How do I actually make the treated wood?
Not quite seeing it there. But here it now shows me. Okay, just let's put the bucket down there. It presumably will not consume the bucket. So I think I want like two of these. Right. Um, I'm going to need more charcoal. If I'm going to make two of these, I need another charcoal chunk because I need more creosote. Incidentally, that one needs creosote. Does the sluice box need creosote? Sluice box is your main source of all resources until you are prepared to scavenge the ocean floor and or set up your ember quarry. Your water strainer will quickly gather sand, gravel and dirt for you to sluice. Tip. Um, you can quick, uh, you can stack sluices above and behind each other to have the water flow from one into the other, sluicing multiple resources from a single bucket of water. Yes, you also need treated wood planks, so I should just bite the bullet and make as many of those as I can. Can I use you for normal crafting? No. Okay, I'm going to have to clear this out then. I'm going to need lots of more creosote. Oh, it has to be purified, doesn't it? Right, I'll turn those ones into minis. So I can purify a bucket of water. And then I'll start the rest going. Right, we'll see how far 16 get us. Right, I wanted two strainer bases, and this does need to be made over here. So I'm going to need two wooden gears. And then, hopefully I've got all the rest of that stuff. I'm missing the string currently. Come to my review. Thank you. Though probably not enough string to do both of them. No, nope, there we go. One and two. Right, so this was for sifting sands. Why do you show survivalist strainer as incomplete? Because all I've got is the fabric mesh right now. More string and sticks. Oh yes, I made the super dense one, didn't I? I've got some vines. Okay, one, two. I'll save the other two because I'll probably need them for the sluicy things. Although I do have a super dense strainer, so I actually want another one of those bases. Okay, can I make another wooden cog? Yes, I can. And I just lost my knife. Right, uh, artisan's wooden knife. I can make three of them, so I will. So we'll throw those in. Str 
string and some more planks. Right, so I have two survivalist mess uh bleh, two survivalist meshes and one super dense one. I'm getting an upper. Works like an upside down hopper. Huh. Sucks items up from the block below. I suspect that's the sort of thing which is probably useful with these strainers. Maybe you can, like, put a box down there or something. Let's claim those. My inventory is a bit full. Did I get it? There it is. It's called an upper. Will I be able to make those later? I will, yes. So it is essentially an upside-down hopper. Oh, and you can turn hoppers into them. That's nice. So maybe what we want is another chest. I thought I'd put all the knives in here. We'll try the upper. Right, so, put you there, put a survivalist strainer in. Okay, if we're going to use an upper, we would need more room than we've got there. So let's put the super dense one. there. And if we put a normal one here, I'm going to break my infinite water source. <laughs> okay, I think I'm not going to bother with the upper at the moment. Alright, so how does this work? Okay, it's the strainer base that gives you stuff. So I've already gotten some ice and plastic waste. And a white wool. A one dollar coin. A prismarine arrow. And some stone and more white wool. But you can see there is durability on these. Survivalist strainer. They all appear to have the same amount of uses. But this one, as it says, it won't get me normal mob drops, but it will get me treasure. Right, so that's getting that stuff. We also got a foot long. Hearty meal, grain, protein, and vegetables. All right, so I think that's it for this episode. Um, we've got a nice full stomach. We've got something down there that's starting to make us some basic ingredients and stuff. Uh, once once we expand the sides a bit, I might move that to be sort of up here at my level rather than having to go into that horrible cold water. In the next episode, we will probably start work on the sluicing and finish off this side. Um, we also have a couple of other lines here, stuff we can just go straight to by the look of it. Well, we will investigate that later. Uh, that's two episodes down. I think it's a reasonable start. I'm going to edit these up and get them scheduled for release. Uh, probably won't be releasing one a day like I was before, unless I record a lot, <laughs> which, you know, we'll see. But I will see you next time. Bye bye.